Welcome to a classic video on exterior and interior angles. Now I've thought about how we can show you what exterior and interior angles mean. So let's use your imagination for a minute. Imagine that you're a little ant, or we've got a little ant, it's up to you. His name's Antti. Now he's walking along, minding his own business, and he comes across a shape. This shape happens to be a triangle. Now, what he does is he walks around the shape, around the perimeter. And what we're interested in for exterior and interior angles to understand what's going on is how much anti turns when he goes around the shape. Okay? So, let's put anti back and imagine that we're going from a bird's eye view. So from a bird's eye view, here's Antti. Okay. So he's come up to his triangle. Now obviously to go around the triangle, first of all he wants to face in the direction. What I'm going to try and do is follow Antti's movements with this ghost version of Antti. Okay. So Antti can... Anti can wait here. He's starting facing that way. We want to investigate how much he's going to be turning. So let's go for his, his mission. He starts off, goes along the line. He's facing this way. And he's going to have to turn. So he turns, wait, that's not turning. He turns around to there. So let's follow his movements with Antti over here. He's turned from there to there, do you see? Now he's going to carry on his exhibition to here. He's already turned that far. So when he gets to here, he's got to turn again. He was facing this way, but when he turns, he's now facing that way. So if we look at Antti now, he's spun around again to here. Okay, so that is the next angle he's turned around. Antti carries on and he has to get back to where he started. So he's got to turn around to face the same way as before. So let's just turn Antti back and he's uh, sorted. So look what happens to Antti as he spins. He's back to where he started. So he's spun around there, kept going around there, kept going, got back to there, and hopefully you've realised that Antti has done a full turn of 360 degrees. So this angle, one, two, three, must add up to 360 degrees. I want us to try that with a different shape. Maybe it's just triangles that, that it works with. So let's look at a rectangle. So this time, Antti goes along, he's facing up, and he wants to turn because he's going around the shape. So Antti that's following Antti, Antti number two over there, is also going to turn 90. Oh, I've given an answer away there. Pretend you didn't hear that. So Antti carries on going. He wants to turn again. So he's turned that angle. He carries on going on his mission. He, Antti just loves going around shapes. Don't know what it is about it, but he just loves it. He carries on again. And can you see, to get back to where he started, he has to turn there too. So if we follow with what Antti just did, there, there, there. So again, look, he's done a full turn, 360 degrees. Now the answer I gave away before was what each of those angles is. You probably already know that angles in a rectangle are right angles, 90 degrees. But the ones, the angles we're talking about on the outside of a shape and we actually call these angles exterior angles. Now how do we know that each one is going to be 90? 
Well, look, one, two, three, four angles. All four angles are the same. So four times our angle, let's call it x, is 360 degrees. Bet you didn't think you'd be solving equations in this video. Divide by four, each angle is 90 degrees in this case. Only because they're the same. Let's look at exterior angles. Exterior on the outside of the shape. Inside the shape, this is the interior angles. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a definition in a second. If we've got the exterior angle and the interior angle next to each other, they're on a straight line, so you can put interior angle plus the exterior angle adds up to a straight line, half a turn, 180 degrees. That is one thing for you to learn right there. So final journey for Antti. It's been a nice little trip for him. He's really enjoyed going around these shapes. And let's do this last one properly. So he walks along. And by the way, this is a regular shape, which means that all these sides are the same. This will be given in your question, so don't worry. It's a five-sided shape. It's a regular pentagon. So anyway, back to ante. First turn. Turn the arrow there. First turn. I forgot to mention ante was a red ant. They're quite dangerous. But he's, um, don't worry, he's all right. Turns again. Turn, oh, give me strength. Carries on going. Okay, so there, the angles that he's turned. And you know that pentagons have five sides. That means they've got five angles. So Ant is turned one, two, three, four, five, and got back to where he started. So he's turned 360 degrees. Now that was five angles. If we want one exterior angle, what we have to do is 360 divided by the number of sides, which is 5, and that is going to give us 72 degrees. So we can label on one of these that that is 72 degrees. Now your question in your exam might say, now I don't want the exterior angle, I want you to tell me the interior angle. So what you have to do is find this one, which you can get by doing 180, take away the exterior angle, which means that the interior angle is 108 degrees. This will work with any shape, okay, as long as it's regular. Hope that helps, and I hope you've enjoyed Auntie's story. He's a nice ant. He's had a good time. Smiley face. Thanks for watching.